In this tutorial we are going to create this particle animation. Ok, let's start. At first we create a solid color and increase the size to 10 seconds. Now we create a new compound clip and switch to Fusion. We add the Earth PNG to our node canvas and we add the merge node. And now we connect it with the um, foreground input. Now we activate the merge node and decrease the size of the Earth PNG. Perfect. Now we add a new mate control node and we create an ellipse node. We connect the ellipse node with the garbage mate input. Okay. What we need to do next is to invert the garbage mate. And now we decrease the size of the ellipse. Here we create a soft edge of the ellipse. Next step is to create a new mat control node. And we add a polygon node. Here we zoom in a little bit. And now we are drawing a small polygon. Now we select all points of the polygon. By pressing Shift S you can decrease the size of the polygon when you click and move the mouse to the left side. Now we go to the frame 160. And the next step is to increase the size of the polygon. At first we zoom in and with Shift S we can um, increase the size of the polygon when you click and move the mouse to the right side. Here you can see the animation. Next we will create a new instance of the polygon. Um, to do that you uh, have to select the polygon node and by command C we can copy the polygon and with command shift V we can create an instance. Next we deinstance some properties of the new created instance. We deinstance the solid property and deactivate it and we deinstance the border width property and increase the border width. And we change the soft edge. Now we connect the output of the polygon with the garbage mate input of the mate control. And we add a new mate control node. Next we connect the mate control one node with the background input node of the new created mate control node and the output of the instant polygon with the garbage mate input. Make sure that the mate control two uh, node is selected and now we invert the garbage mate property.
Next we add the particle emitter and the particle renderer. And we connect the new created nodes. Now we change the output node of the renderer to 2D and we select the renderer and press the number 2 to see it on the right side. Now we select the particle emitter and go to the style and change it to blob. After that we go to the region and change it to bitmap. What we have to do next is to connect the make control node with the particle emitter. Now we adjust the particle emitter. We change the number size of the emitter from 10 to 500. We change the number variance from 0 to 50 and the lifespan from 100 to 50. The lifespan variance is set to 20. And next we will change the color and the size behavior of the particles. A particle have a lifetime and here we change the color over the life. Next select the particle emitter node and press shift space to add a new turbulence node. And here we change the properties of the turbulence node. Next we want to change the numbers of the particles at the beginning and at the end of the animation and we do this by adding keyframes. Okay, this looks good. Next we add a soft glow node to the canvas. We select the particle renderer, press uh, shift space and type soft glow. And we add a new merge node. Next we connect the mate control with the merge node and the soft glow with the merge node. And we change the apply mode of the merge node from normal to screen.
Okay, perfect. We switch to the editor and we add the background image. Now we transform the background image, we zoom in a little bit and change the position. Here we change the render cache fusion output to on. Now we change the opacity of the background image. We decrease the opacity to 60% or better to 45. Okay, that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If yes, please give me a thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.